Hello everyone and welcome back to the Konya Impression. What we have here today is the 2021 Range Rover Vogue Westminster. Now you're going to be wondering what's new about this car. I mean, haven't we seen it all? Well, there are a few bits and pieces that you need to know about the Range Rover Vogue Westminster. Yes, Range Rover has a lot of names and very long names. Please shorten them, it makes it easier for us. So let's go. Let us talk about the front end. Well, there's nothing new over here. If you are in markets which get a plug-in hybrid model, plug-in hybrid switch comes over here. Otherwise, whether there's petrol or diesel, it's the same old. What you get with the Westminster are the 22-inch rims. Well, these are optional, but you get the 21-inch standard. So what Range Rover has done is that they have given a ton of optional equipment as standard in the Westminster. So the other bit is obviously the retractable door steps over here, which are a pretty cool feature and very handy as well because the car is pretty high. But at the back, it is also the same, only with Westminster badging at the back. You can't tell the difference from the outside at all other than this one particular badge. Well, typical Range Rover style split opening tailgate, which you can use as a picnic bench. Don't mind the camera equipment at the back. We enjoy this kind of space so we can carry all our gear for filming. We love this split open tailgate so we can chill and relax in the shade while it's getting hot. My camera guy is sweating, so am I sweating, but welcome to Dubai. But anyways, let's talk about the car. Split open tailgate, very good, very functional, very easy to use. Come closer. So what we have here is these two buttons. They raise and lower the suspension in case you want to carry or remove any heavy equipment. So if you want to take out any heavy equipment, lower the suspension, carry your stuff out and keep it down. Makes life easy, right? Now these four buttons are again a very good and unique feature. What they do is they flatten the seats, the rear seats and they go all the way flat. They take their own sweet time in doing it because what happens is they even push the front passenger and driver's seat in the front before they go down and then they go down all the way. So as you can see, the front two seats have gone in the front. Seats at the back can go down. And then when you press the up buttons, they come back as well. Yay! Fully automated cars. I like it. So what happens over here? Look, the seat belt gets stuck all the time. Oh, the seat belt has got stuck. I don't want to damage the leather. Yay! To this. And it's automated as well. So press this button. Voila, press this button, it closes as well, yeah! The interiors are where Land Rover has got it spot on. You sit in this amazing commanding position, overlooking everything. You literally feel you are the king of the road. Driving positions don't get better than this. The seats on this car are extremely comfortable pretty much like a throne and you get these so i find this a bit too tight but however i can put it up but everybody else or as a passenger you're going to love it just literally just sit around here thinking no end of yourself and that's what i like to think of myself when i drive this car full of myself this particular car has been optioned with supple windsor leather it's two tones you got this cream look over here and blue shading going on on the chairs so all the touch points are in cream and all the, the seats are in blue beautiful it's got this suede or alcantara finish on top over here the entire fabric is just opulent full panoramic roof from here all the way till the end phenomenal touch it and you can enjoy the beautiful blue sky with beautiful clouds in Dubai which is a rare sight in summer I mean I can't get over these clouds that's how excited they make me because we rarely get to see them this is a Range Rover special dual sun blinds I love this it comes in so handy why can't all brands think of this this is awesome 
this is really awesome this is something every brand needs to do 19 speaker meridian sound system which is optional is standard on this car it has all the safety features lane keep assist blind spot monitoring cruise control active cruise control matrix led headlights all of that 20 way controllable seats i mean look at that 20 ways i didn't even know i can adjust my body in 20 ways well land rover knows better and then the center console now obviously this is in piano black but you can option it in wooden veneer this shuts there's a cooling glove box over here like a fridge don't mind my camera gear you can put a micro sim card over and get wireless hotspot for the entire car obviously it has a usb charging with uh, apple carplay and android auto this is where you can control your four wheel drive system from or your or your driving mode from so you press this button and then you turn the knob you can go to grass gravel snow there's mud and ruts the sand and there's a rock crawl program you can even use it by touch screen over here otherwise just put it on auto and let the car figure out what it needs to do this is your gear lever it rises when you switch on and switch off the car exactly like that i'm going to switch on the car because it's hot and we need some air conditioning these are your two 10 inch touch screen monitors now the top screen well Land Rover has a new PB Pro which is going to come in into the later later cars but right now it has a 10 inch touch pro connectivity system you have the home screen with with a three way split navigation media and then phone when you go these have all your features your settings you can adjust anything and everything on this ambient lighting deployable side steps your 4x4 settings this is navigation phone media etc Again, very slow to use, outdated, but it works at the moment. You're going to connect your phone anyways, so who cares, right? One of the interesting things you can do is because there's a lot of light that reflects on this, you can adjust the screen angle, which is a pretty cool thing as well because it's much required. The lower 10 in screen controls your climate seats and other off-road settings. Now, climate control you can touch. pretty much whichever part of your body you want the air flow directed to with sync what happens is the driver and passenger both get the same settings obviously this is your temperature settings you press this to adjust the blow or fan speed which is a bit inconvenient when you're on the go obviously this is for recirculation and when you keep this pressed the recirculation is always on that means it doesn't go off which it usually does which is a good thing now the 2021 cars have come with a very strong particulate filter which pretty much keeps all kinds of dust out of the car you can even switch to the rear by pressing rear and then you can adjust the rear temperature control from here and you can unlock it so the rear passengers can do it for themselves as well no wonder i couldn't do it from the back earlier because it was locked from here obviously seats heated and cool seats you can adjust that over here as well off road vehicle dynamics so a lot going on in the front side you have this funky little two two way adjustable dashboard yeah pretty cool right no other car gets that this particular car even has valet mode now let's go to the back seat when you're sitting at the back it's a comfortable place to be in you have your two tone windsor leather over here nice and supple like i said you can adjust your seats over here the meridian sound systems there you have your temperature control modes over here usb charging and a fake cigarette lighter oh check this out it has a jaguar logo on that can you see that that's official path sharing for you way to go cost saving i like it things to do for the rear passengers in the range rover vogue westminster you can mute the audio from your button over here you can open the sunshade slide it open all the way that's pretty big that is pretty big again the beautiful dubai sky with the beautiful clouds i'm so excited close it it's too hot for it to be open again the definitely the the roof lining is excellent it makes you really feel royal and plush the build quality is very good in this car and you have these lights which can change in intensity and color that's the other shade so it's more yellowish and the other one is a bit more whitish depending on the type of light you want and you can adjust which window do you want to open for yourself so if you want to open both 
so both passengers rear passengers windows can be opened from one place or only the other one and then only your side way to go i like it you know these small touches are that make and add character to the car and the range rover or land rover has done just that they have added a lot of character to this particular car well enough about all of this let's go to the important bit time for me to drive let's go you can spec the range rover vogue westminster with two engine options one is a 3 liter inline 6 mild hybrid which is turbocharged and supercharged and produces 400 horsepower or a 5.3 liter supercharged v8 producing 518 horsepower both of these engines come mated to an 8 speed automatic transmission the drive on the range rover vogue is like a range rover vogue it's super smooth and extremely refined it has air suspension and it goes over potholes and bumps with ease obviously being a range rover it has a ton of off road pedigree i'm not going to be trying that out though like i said i find this car too expensive to take into the sand mud and dirt but guys who can afford them for sure can and maybe will the driving position is something that most cars would dream of you sit up high like a king on his throne and oversee the world you would be forgiven if you think you can take over the world by sitting in the driving seat of this car or any other seat of this car when passengers feel that this is the car to be in or to be driven around in that is a huge compliment and that is exactly what i was told yesterday while ferrying someone around the steering weighs up nicely it has enough heft and weight letting you know exactly what's happening with the car there is quite a bit of body roll however that's expected in such a high and tall riding suv but overall the feeling is very refined and very comfortable this particular one which i am driving is priced at 543000 dirhams or 148000 of 4 crore rupees in india this has pretty much everything you need and what range rover has done with the westminster pack is given you a lot of trims which were optional as standard at a better price so what's my take on the 2021 range rover vogue westminster you'll ask in my books it's a definite must buy there is going to be a new range rover in 2022 or somewhere on that time but why wait this does everything you need it ticks all the boxes it drives well it's luxurious it has brand value and prestige and with the westminster it's even better value for money so why wait go get your range rover vogue westminster now remember to like comment share and subscribe i know you know how to do that so please do that and see you guys next time